Hey everybody, it's Wani the McDowell from InMotion, and today I want to give you three PowerPoint shortcuts most users don't know. But first, a reminder, we do have a PowerPoint class coming up, sponsored by the Georgia Real Estate Educators Association and InMotion Real Estate Institute. The class will be August 9th at the Georgia Institute of Real Estate. We have a link below. You can register. The time is from 930 to 1245. We'll have you out of there and really, really PowerPoint smart. So are you ready to learn three tips? Let's go. Tip number one is how to copy the formatting of your text. So what do we mean? Let's pick on pizzazz. That word needs a little bit more pizzazz. I want to bold it, italicize it. I even want to use my drawing tools to apply a word art style. It still needs a little something else. Let's add some color. Now, once I do that and I decide I want engaging to have that same formatting, I do not need to do it over again. There's a little shortcut. Let me show you. Put your cursor in the Word, go to the Home tab, go to the Format Painter, which is inside of the clipboard group, double click it, and now you have a little paintbrush. And any word you want to have that formatting, just click. It's just that easy. Just click. When you're finished, hit escape and watch what happens to our little paintbrush. It goes away. We're ready to finish our presentation. Number two is how to insert a video into an image. Meaning I found an image that matches my concept that goes along with my presentation. And I want to insert a video into that image. Let me show you an example. Let's say I'm doing a presentation on Facebook and I have some bullets on my right. I've inserted a monitor on my left. Now I'm going to hit Shift F5. What's inside of that monitor is a video. And while I'm doing my presentation, I can actually hover and then click and my video will play. Let's see if it works. Everybody, it's Facebook Friday. I have a question for you. It works. Now, how did I make that happen? Well, let me show you. The first step is to find an image that you want. It works really well when you have a shape that would fit a video, as I do here. Next, go to the Insert tab, Video, Video from File. Find the video that you want to insert. Say OK. By default, it's going to be rectangular, so you can actually size it to fit your picture. Ready to play. Everybody Tip number three, how to use autocorrect to create abbreviations. Now, most of us are familiar with autocorrect because when we misspell a word, autocorrect does exactly what it says it does. It gives us a correction option. Now, I want you to expand your horizons and think about using autocorrect as text expansion instead. Meaning, there may be words that I type all the time, like buyers or sellers, or maybe my location where I may do sell real estate or teach. Maybe the name of my school. So the question is, is there a way that I can shortcut that? Meaning type period contact instead of this long line. Well, there actually is. Let me show you what I mean. Here's where I want to autocorrect. So when I click questions, I want to be able to just type dot contact and hit enter. Well, I'm not going to be able to do that until I set it up. So let me show you how that works. I'll go to the file tab, options. Now what I want you to do is go to proofing, autocorrect options and replace dot contact with for more information please contact Juanita McDowell. Okay so now I'm going to say okay and okay. So now when I type dot contact and hit enter look what happens. How much typing did that save me? That was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed these tips. We have plenty more in store for you on August 9th at the Georgia Institute of Real Estate. Don't miss it. Again, see the link below for registration. Thanks for watching.